Hey there YouTube, this is Wheelchair21, and on today's rolling review, we have Premium Bandai AC6, Kamen Rider Ryugen Yomokasuri Arms. Yes, this is one of the only Premium Bandai uh, AC figures I got, arms change figures. It is Ryugen Yomokasuri Arms, it is Michi's technical final form of the series, it is when Michi technic not technically when Michi was full-blown bad and evil, and was doing whatever he wanted to do to save Mai in his own way. Now, the cool thing about Yomokasuri Arms is it's the combination of Grape and Kiwi. It gives him the ability to use both weapon, both types of weapons from the forms, as well as calling upon the weapons of the other uh, main uh, invests, the Overlords. Uh, it comes with the weapons for the Mushu, uh, Redu as well as Rusho, and it shows all three riders that are kind of based on the characters of the ma main three invests. You have Michi, who is supposed to be like Redu, Baron, who is Dem Demushu, and Gaim, who is Rusho. Pretty cool box, basic, kind of like AC design, but a little different since it is a premium Bandai figure. Now inside is the actual figure itself, which you can see other riders wearing the armor. Basic me basic Ryugen or Michi or Mitsune wearing the, you know, red style now. Inside are instructions. We don't really need those. This is a basic arms change figure. I think we know how that works. All the accessories, like I said, the Kiwi blades, the uh Ryugen Ryuho gun, the overlord weapons, as well as the arms ar arms change armor itself. Pretty cool. Pretty nice, and a nice red and black Michi mold, which is different than his basic super green and like purple mold. Actually, no, it's just green and gold. Now, since this is technically a remold, anyone who has the original uh, Ryugan figure knows that the base body is practically green and gold, as well as the little war dress here isn't as tattered and torn. Uh, as it was tainted by the Omokasuri arms or the health one of the health roots, his armor kind of turns rusted red and also gets this nice gold trim it's a really nice design and I like it a lot I just like red and gold and black really good colors really nice really makes uh well I should say Ryugen or Mitsune really a more viable threat in the show and I honestly love it I like his mask now like this rather than the green it was red's a great color I always love red but seeing the green of the grape turn red and gold Looks really nice, though, having the green be where the purple once was. Uh, I really like it. It's really cool, especially with the new fire effects on four of the grapes shown. It really, really brings out like a great impact of a design. I just like it. Um, overall, still the same core unit, but it has that new twist of this beautiful like emerald green and black flame designs. Really good. Really cool. And since it is a basic arms change figure, it just clips over the top of the figure. Now the little mask piece, which is from the original Kiwi arms, which has nice premium Bandai metallic colors, normally goes inside and clips down in, but it's easier normally to just assemble the figure without it plugged inside the helmet part. Ryugan's weapons, as stated, are interchangeable, and even as the box shows, he can either use his Ryugen, uh, Ryuho gun, uh, which is actually pretty cool. I like the whole design nowadays, and I think it was an actual cool aspect of a lot of the fruit-like weapons. Uh, his gun, pretty bitchin', if I may say so. You pull back on the actual vine, charges up the gun, and it shoots out a cool chain gun. Uh, I'm not really a fan of this style of the chain barrel, but, you know, it's interesting nonetheless. Then you have the uh, Kiwi Chakrams. Which are pretty cool. I like that this has a nice metallic shimmer now. Really nice, really cool design. Uh, there's two of them, but he's really only shown even in the show to only use the one alongside of the gun. And the box art really confirms it. I mean, I'm not just going by the box art alone. I'm actually stating the show he only used like one of them. But he also was heavily reliant on Redu's weapon. Uh, the Hel Helheim fruit or Yomokasuri arms fruit really was able to summon 
all of the overlords like basic weapons mostly weapons that were known for Redu or his servants like the basic axe which you can only get with the Tamashi web shop exclusive figure art ironically that they gave him the additional axe to go with the figure uh it's a shame I didn't order the figure because I was little pressed for money at the time when the pre-orders came up for the entire month I should say uh maybe if they're still open I don't know if they're open I'll probably just pop one in and get it with get get an order with my friend Otoya but, nevertheless, I like this. Pretty cool axe, pretty awesome. Just missing a bit of paint, I believe. But, you know, you can just take a Gundam marker and touch it up. Since it uses the base design of an arms change figure, there's no real need to go into the points of articulation. Just that, you know, these little Sokachu Henjin-like hands can get loose and maybe break over time. But to put your weapons in, I'm actually just going to use this cool axe and spear combination because you know he's supposed to be evil why, why not give him something different for variety now for our final evaluation AC PB 06 Kamen Rider Ryugen Yomogutsuri Arms is actually worth the price it goes for when I bought this with Rider Proxy it was just roughly around 30 to I believe 40 dollars maybe about 45 before domestic shipping and sh international shipping. And with that all together, it comes out to what you would get it from secondary services or certain online retail stores that carry these web shop exclusives. Um, even though it's a retool of Ryugen kit bashing, or I should say figure bashing, uh, ba basic grape and kiwi arms together, you do get an awesome figure. I mean... Even though it's a basic remold of the AC figure line or AC figure body, it has new paint, it has premium paint job, it also has a new war dress, war gown, just slightly retooled, as well as its main plating. Now, that may not want someone to get it just alone, especially since it was only seen in two episodes, or three, I believe, but it does come with all the weapons it originally had for both forms, as well as three new weapons that are exclusive to this figure and exclusive to this character because none of the overlords were made. Like I said, you have Redu's spear slash axe, you have Demeshu's freaking uh, saber, as well as Rusho's Bakoto. You have all of these weapons and more. You get a total of six accessories for this character, which are amazing. And I'm just saying the accessories for it to hold as weapons. Um, I think this looks a lot better than the basic Ryugan, and I'm sad that it didn't come a little bit sooner to have more episodes and be heavily featured in the series. But I'm glad we get the weapons of the Overlords, and I'm glad it actually comes with two discs instead of just one. I was actually shocked it was going to come with two, due to the fact he only used one. Honestly, it's worth the price, especially if you don't want to buy the figure art, or you missed out on the figure art pre-orders. Because most likely when it releases, since it is a Gaim figure art, it may hike up in price about, I would say, 15% higher to even almost 40% higher than its market value from the actual web shop. It's great to have, it's great to own. I thank Ryder Proxy for this uh, purchase, but you could have gotten it other places. And there's still a few other venues where you can still get this item if you're looking for it. Nevertheless, you can find this review here on my YouTube channel and featured over at Hirotaku.com, where you can like Hirotaku on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Also, don't forget, you can also check me out on Twitter and or Instagram. We'll see you next time with another rolling review, Dole's DVDs, Vlog slash Unboxing. See you next time, YouTube.